Want to solve coding decoding in less than a minute? Then you have visited the right channel, guys. That is AK Agarwal Aptitude. Hello, everyone. I am Pratiksha Agarwal, going to teach you how to solve coding decoding in less than a minute and very easily. Uh, without moving to the video, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now, let's see the very first question. So, this is the first question, students. In a certain coded language, P E E S G F T E M means ice is cold. H E J P E M P E E means tea is hot and T O R P E M T E M means tea and ice. So the code for the tea will be. So we have to find out the code for the word tea. So the so the approach to solve these type of question is first we are going to draw a table like this. Now the word tea is present in statement number two and statement number three. So its code will be present only in statement number two and three. Now, if we just notice these codes, H E J P E M P W -E T O R P E M T E M. So the code PEM is P E M is present in statement number two and three. So the code uh, for the T is P E M. So we got our answer as option number A, which is P E M. See how easy it is to solve these questions, right? Now let's see the next one. In a certain code language, basic material is available is written as D E K L C E D P. Basic questions are solved is written as S A K C B K D E. Almost questions available solved is written as D P F C B K S A. And our material good enough is written as K L T S K C M T. Okay, so statement is given and the codes are given. The question is which of the following is the code for is R? Okay, so the word is and R we have to find out the code. First, we are going to draw a table like this. I have drawn it. Okay, now is. See, the word is is present only in statement number one. So its code will be present only in statement number one. Now let's see the code. See the first code D E. It is also present in statement number two K L. It is see it is present in statement number four C E. Now the code C E is. Only in statement number one, so the code for is uh, becomes to be C B C E. Sorry, not C B C E. So we got the code for is as C E. Now the turn comes for R. Now the word R is present in statement number two and statement number four. Means its state in its code will be present in statement number two and four only. See now, let's proceed to the code. S A is present in second but not in fourth. K C now K C is present in statement number two and statement number four. So the code for R comes to be K C. Okay. Now the code for is is C E and R is K C. So we got our answer as option number D. See if I ask what is the code for R is. So the code for R will come first and is will come next. But here the question is asking the code for is R. Okay, so first we'll uh, uh, first we'll see the code for is and then for R. So the code for is was C E and the code for R was K C. So we got our answer as option number D that is C E K C. Okay, if we, in option number E none of Instead of none of these, the option K C C E would have been given. Means here, if I just write the option as K C, okay. See, yeah, I am writing here K C and C E. Okay, so we'll not choose this option. Why? Because here the K C is for R and C E is for is, but the question is asking is first and are next i hope you understood this so let's move on to the next one okay so this is the next question students see uh, the first four line is same as the previous one so i am just going to draw the table first now we'll uh, quickly move on to the question which of the following can be coded as mt now we have to find the co uh, word for mt so the word empty, sorry, the code empty is there in statement number four only. Means the word for empty will be in statement number four. So R is present in the second statement also. We have seen in the previous question. Material is there in statement number one also. 
See, good is not present in above three statements, and enough is also not present in above three statement. So the uh, sorry, the word for empty will be either good or enough. So the word for empty can be good or enough. So we'll go with option number E. That is enough or good. Or you can say good or enough. Both are right. So that's all for today, students. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe my channel. If you have any question or suggestion, do comment me. I'll try to solve it. Thank you very much. Bye bye.